And apparently, um, there's a new post that I that caught my interest. That I like to go I'll go over with. No? Like one day ago, um, I bought an offer. <coughs> War with an alpha development notes, like 40 extra slots now available. Talent slots, no. <clears throat> so basically, here says uh, of the notes of today, it now includes 40 talent loadouts and more changes to warlocks and mages are inbound. That's good because I'm a mage and warlock bound, bound, <laughs> main. Among the, among the cloves class, no? And yeah, uh, let's see what else he has to talk about. Um, Devstalker is now available for testing, it does not appear to be in this build. No, yeah. So Devstalker is the rogue hero talent type. So, whoever is fond of both rogues, you may test them out. But it's not in this build here, and it was built. <coughs> yeah, otherwise, let's hop into this. Let's see. Um, classes. Um, volume changes and updates with today's build for the Wolf, uh, Wolf of an Alpha. Okay. Then we have. Um, The number of talent loadout can be saved on a car on a per character basis has to increase to 40 or 10. So basically, you had your talent loadouts, no? You could save them 1 to 3, 1 to 10 maximum, right? And remove it. So and now you have like 40. So basically, you can have like 30 of. Uh, 10 of these ones, 10 of that uh, from the other ones, no, 10 from the other ones. And I like a little bit mixed match. No. But okay, that's it for each is all, no. Uh, then we are removing decreased uh, melee range talents across the game. As much as the install influence and acrobatic strikes. Default melee range has increased since these talents were originally created, so they now allow specs to attack from well outside when it appears to be unavailable. So they make uh, they, they make the immediate experience more less consistent and across the classes, and we are not happy with that. So we are removing them. So Rogue, who I was interested. Um, I'm not gonna read everything in here, just the ones that I really have good insights about. So, uh, let's see, Death Knights. Um, there's a new talent called Unyielding Heal, uh, not new talent, but the, the new talent, uh, Unyielding Will. There's now the anti matrix scale shell cooldown, there's now increased by 20 seconds. Now it's the most all harmful magic. This is now a capstone talent available for or after the room master and subdued grasps. Okay. I'm also fond about the warrior. Let's see if it's gonna have it. Um, so the class three has for the adjustments into inter location and perfect update. So. Osmosis healing received with uh, anti shell magic has been increased by 15. Now it's just one point, was two points, right? Okay, holding protection armor increased by six, was three, and was is now at one point talent, was two, right? Blood roll cooldown was by two minutes, now was three minutes. Blood, uh, blood draw not on cap capstones is now available with the Death's Echo out location. Then Icebound Fortitude is now available in the first talent on the left, replacing with Mind Freeze. Okay, 
um, Brunig attention or attenuation is now available directly after icebound fortitude. Death's echo is a capstone ability available after the of neck pearls and subduing grasps. Okay. The grasp now reduces damage by 6% for 6 seconds when you pull an enemy. Was 8% at rank 2, now it's 1 point. And was 2 points, right? So the rest of the shell along with the giants is the choice mode with new net with new oh my god with new magic and it's available at the right capstone size the in the right capstone space. Um, no magic no longer a choice choice mode with the with the shell. Although it's not available with the left in the left and it's not available in the left capstone space. Oh my god, this World of Warcraft Blizzard language is a little bit sometimes awkward, but <laughs> you gotta uh, deal with it. Uh, yeah. Anyways, then basically there are uh, changes with the unholy spec. Some do not reduce the cost of your next world by endemic causes, uh, uh, your next death pool or epidemic by 10. It was free. Um, with the update to Southern Doom's proc, right? We throw the flooded unholy powder. I uh, flower, flower, uh, unholy. With unique power, we weren't able to spend the RP down to fast enough in a lot of scenarios to prevent the overcap, right? Okay, iteration are going to introduce cost to DEFCO or epidemic to help combat the problem with the uh, only power overcapping. Internally, we tested this as a full removal, the cost of reduction, but it left quite of a downtime in the rotation and it felt particularly bad outside of the cooldowns. A 10 unique power cost reduction felt reasonable well both inside and outside of the cooldowns. Ah, this was the instant death call proc, right? Uh, now yeah, it was free. And now it will be cost like 10. Running powers each time you use it. I always see it. Uh, then also, sudden doom um, reduces your. Uh, also causes your next death call or ability to burst a festering wound. Yeah, wound. Uh, causes to burst a festering wound, right? So. Um, also looking a way to increase the frequency to apply the festing wound, the festing strike. So we are exploring having a runic power expander burst the wound instead of a only own expense of apocalypse. And internally we're testing we found it creates a natural condense in which you want to press festing strike. So only on the passive wounds, explicators, the other perk of death core bursting and firsting wound. Consuming the consuming the sound doom, it helps to ease off the friction during the cooldowns. Uh, so then the house, the update spec tree with a few additional talent locations. Notable movements are supposed to mobi mobility, uh, now located directly after death rod. Unholy Hustle and Fast Might now located in the middle of the degree of my army of death. And Tony Agony is available after Dark Transformation. Okay. Um, so it's basically the Sound Doom Rock, uh, the Sound Doom uh, Dot um, appliance, right? To burst the Fasting Wound. Of course, some not changes back and forth, right? At first, face an issue with absolute zero being available prior to the third gate being unlocked. Ah, okay. Well, whatever. 